What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we've got a bunch of wonderful news to talk about in the One Piece TCG. And I, for one, am very happy indeed. So, let's start off then having a little bit of a look at a new Roanoa Zoro promo that has gone and been revealed. Now, this is being given out at exchange meetings over in Japan. And what that basically means is small tournaments. These are your small entry-level tournaments where they are, they are literally described on the website as super casual. So we're not talking about, I'm going to turn up with the very best deck and win, wahaha. There's no big prizes or anything like that. It is go along, have a play, have some fun, Everybody that turns up gets Rowan Oazoro, and the winner gets... That's not a dramatic pause, incidentally. It doesn't seem like there's any kind of prize. It just seems to be, you rock up, get a Rowan Oazoro promo, play a bunch of games, life is good. And it is a brand new, never-before-seen promo, with a brand new number and wonderful artwork by the lovely Anderson. And I've had a bunch of people I've been chatting to lately who are getting into the One Piece TCG. There does seem to be a bit of a boost in interest since the Netflix show came out. I'm starting to think that might not be a coincidence. But of course, when we saw like the first starter decks, I've always liked the cards, don't get me wrong. But if you go back to the very first starter decks for the One Piece TCG, some of the art was... Well, kind of like, hey, we've used a screenshot and it's kind of cool. But it wasn't exactly, you know, all amazing. When was the last time you saw a One Piece card that wasn't just brilliant? Now, whether you're a fan of the artwork or not, that's not really the point. What I'm saying is, whereas in the early game, there were, there were a few instances where cards would be kind of, you know, anime screenshots or whatever, or at least very much had the appearance of them. I don't know if they technically were or not. Whereas nowadays, like, this is just a promo that's being given out at super casual tournaments. And look how hard they've gone on the artwork. And obviously all brand new artwork and all of that. Uh, as for the card, 6 cost, 7,000 power, counter plus 1,000, purple card with banish. That's it. It's got banish. It is one's re I mean, I did a translation myself. But this is one I, I don't need to check. It's, it's one keyword. It's banish. It's really nice and simple. And Banish is basically, you know, when you take a life, that card would go to your opponent's hand. And instead, they don't get it. And this is actually really, really good. A couple of cool things that, that happen with Banish. First of all, your opponent doesn't get to activate something like Trigger, for instance. Which is kind of fun. Because it means that if there is a really good Trigger, they don't get it. But secondly, it means I don't get the card advantage. Generally speaking, like there are times early on in the game where you will literally just give up a life. You will let your opponent take a life so that you can essentially get that card advantage and then it might all work out. Banish stops that happening. Also, fun little side note, this is essentially taking over from the last Tamer Exchange promo, which was Bellamy, which had Banish. It also had Don X2 when you got zero life, you gained 2,000 power, 5 cost, 6,000 power, no counter. But I find it kind of funny that I'm pretty sure this is just replacing the Bellamy, as long as I've got this the right way round. And they both have Banish. I think that's kind of fun, frankly, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's kind of fun. Is this any good? It's all right. I'll be honest with you, though. Purple's got a few cards with Banish anyway. We got the Kaku from OPO3. Now, to be fair, that's Don minus one, you get Banish. Whereas here, you pay one more, you get an extra thousand power, but you just get Banish with no mucking about. Uh, you got the Minor Zebra from OPO3, which just has Banish. And then on KO, if your leader has the Empowered Down type, you add a Don card from your Don deck, Rested. Which is better, but then you are less powerful. And obviously, if you've got Banish, you want to have a more powerful character so that you're more likely to get attacks through and take life, and then your opponent doesn't get the card advantage in tee hee hee. Oh, and then, of course, you've got the Kaido, the first purple promo card, which Don minus two gains Banish. But again, you've got to Don minus two to get it. Well, this only has 1,000 less power, but you're also one cost cheaper, and you've got counter... And you don't need to Don minus two to get Banish. Like, if I'm putting this side by side with Kaido, I mean, look, you Don X1, boom. 
Now you're up to the same power. So this is way better than Kaido. I, I'm struggling with this against Mina Zebra, I'll be honest with you, because I like the fact that this is quite a bit more powerful, but also it's two costs more, and Mana Zebra's got the KO skill, but only in an Impal down deck, so I don't know. I'm going to let you make that decision. Either way, this is a cool card, and you better believe I'm getting one of these in my binder. I can't wait. But hey, if you're looking for purple promo cards, don't forget that Yamato is out there. Now, we don't need to spend long on this Yamato because this is, of course, one we've seen before. But I need to mention it now because it is coming out in Volume 17 of the One Piece magazine. And by coming out, I mean it's already out. And I like to do this when we're doing these news videos. I like to just kind of slip in here. Hey, this is out. This is the one you're looking for. So this is the cover. The magazine is out. And the One Piece magazine only seems to come out like once every six months or something. And One Piece is kind of awesome. And look, the artist is not listed on this card. And this really looks like Oda artwork. So I think this might be an Oda card. Now, whether it's reused artwork from somewhere else, I don't know is the honest answer. But oh my word, I love this card, ladies and gentlemen. This is an extremely cool card. It's the one that basically gives you a hand refresh. You put your cards on the bottom of the deck and then redraw. It's a really good card. Actually, as a one-cost card, I adore it. Because, I mean, the example I gave when I showed you this before is how the OPO one Kaido decks really, really, really want to start over on Agashimar Island. And if you don't start with that card, your deck is significantly weaker. But you can't actually play that card until turn two anyway. Like, there's no way. It costs more than two. So you cannot play this card on turn one. So what you essentially do is either you start with it. If you don't start with it, you mulligan. And if you don't start with it after your mulligan, hopefully you get Yamato. So basically you either need to get the card or the card from mulligan or Yamato from mulligan and then get another chance to go and get the card. So it's just one of those that's a particular card you desperately want to start the game with. This gives you a much better chance of actually starting the game with it. It is a card I like very, very much indeed. So yeah, keep an eye on this one, ladies and gentlemen. This one is cool. Another thing which is very cool that I want to share with you is the artwork, the packaging from the Uta starter deck. Now, that's all they've given us. <laughs> now, now, the description's still up on the website. But obviously, we, we looked at the description before. We don't need to spend much more time looking at that. We've done that bit. What is new here is that they've actually gone and shown us the deck. They've gone and officially shown us the artwork. Now, I know we saw that poster the other day taken from really far away with a potato can. Don't know why the people seeing these posters in the wild can't take better pictures. But regardless, we did see that the other day. This is way better, ladies and gentlemen, because we get a really nice, clear look at the artwork. Of course, we know at this stage that the artwork is actually just the super rare Uta from the starter deck. I showed you the super rare Uta the other day, and I also then showed you the leader. It's one of those awkward things where I made the video and then they revealed the leader, and it was actually really annoying. But, you know, this is how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what? We made it work. We got it in there. It was fine. And I'm kind of starting to get a little bit excited about Uta generally and about this leader and about all of that. I mean, the leader, if you're playing a film deck, it's just look at the top card of your deck. If it's a film card, add it to your hand. This is Don X1 when attacking once per turn. But of course, if you're playing a film deck, the top card of your deck is going to be a film card. So if you're playing a full film deck, it's just a straight draw one, which is clearly good. And then... The Super Rare is a free cost that at the end of your turn lets you discard an event card from your hand to set a film card as active. Like, we've, we've only seen those two cards so far, so let's not get over the top. But I think this looks really good, ladies and gentlemen. I think this looks really, really good. So yeah, we, they tweeted out just the image of the starter deck, and then on the website they've got the star set with the backing and all of that, and it's just, they're getting me excited for it, alright? I'm not saying I'm going to start playing green film decks, but I am saying I'm getting very tempted to start planning a green film deck. Now, there's one other thing you need to know about, which has happened recently. This one took me a little bit by surprise. You see, there is a free-on-free -free event happening in the UK in Glasgow next weekend. The weekend of the 16th and 17th of September. And what's important about this free-on-free -free event, 
Serial Luffy. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, right? When this 3 on 3 event was originally announced, my general theory was I don't have a team of three people. Glasgow's miles away. And let's face it, I'm, I'm not really loving the prizes. And I think at, at the beginning, when that happened, there was an argument for, nah, give it a miss. Hands up if you want a Serial Luffy. Now, all put your hands down, because we all want a Serial Luffy. So, look, if you are kind of on the fence, do, do give this thing in, in Glasgow a bit of a go. And, look, it's run by organised play events, and you guys may or may not know I've done some work with them in the past. I hope to do more work with them in the future. So, yeah, fine, I'm a little bit biased. But just to be clear, Serial Luffy is being given out in three-on-three -three tournaments now. Or at least it is in the one in Glasgow. I can't confirm for all of them right now. But the point is, it is being given out. It's another way to get Serial Luffy. This is something you should all be taking into account. And if you're in the UK and you want a Serial Luffy, just putting it out there. Like, you won't get the Serial Luffy for turning up, but you might if you win. Well, you will if you win. You might win. You know what I mean. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to know. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about all of this. Tell me what you think about these promos. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Got us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.